And welcome to your Gone Market Update and Charts of the Day for today, Tuesday the 21st of February. Mike Smith, Senior Analyst at Gone Markets, to lead you around what's happening in the markets today. Of course, overnight there was no US market. It was closed for President's Day. Uh, European equities finished lower as market eyed significant data outlet this week. In fact, today is pretty significant, and we'll talk about that in a moment. U.S. futures are below neutral in early Asian trading. Asian indices are mixed. Without that U.S. lead, the ASX is down around 0.4%, and European equity futures are pointing to a mildly negative open. The VIX is still fairly calm, trading around that key 20 level. U.S. dollar index was slightly weaker yesterday. A bit of a choppy session in the FX world, uh, but still near monthly highs. Gold is holding that 1830 support near year-to-date lows. And copper edged to the upside again, which was interesting. That's the third day on the spin and is now at three-week highs. Not bounding up, but edging up very nicely. And some would suggest that copper is a leading indicator in terms of where markets may go next. Oil is still trading in that medium-term range, pretty neutral in today's session so far. Bitcoin has been one of the stories of the last couple of weeks, and that's now breached 24,000. is at nine-month highs, and there still looks to be some significant buying pressure in there. Possibly a little bit of a pause on the cards if we look at the wicks of some of the candles over the last three days. Around about 25,000. We breached that. There could be some more buying comes into Bitcoin. Earnings season, of course, is near its end in the US, but still ramped up in Australia and Europe. US markets reopen, of course, and there may be some interesting enthusiasm or repositioning goes on as they do open. And today we've got global PMI data throughout the day. We've already had numbers out of Australia and Japan, which have been relatively positive. We've got the Eurozone, Germany, the UK and the US all later. A Canadian CPI number is also of note, particularly if you are trading the Canadian dollar. A couple of charts of interest for today. And we'll stand by having a look at ASB, Austral Limited. Now these guys pulled up to that 185 level, had a little bit of a retracement after that strong up move and are retesting 185 again today. So just watch this. If we get a breach of this, this could precipitate some more buying, possibly up to around about $2 in the first instance. That's one to certainly keep an eye on. In the FX world, we are flatlining a little bit on the USD yen over the last four days. As you can see here, really sort of stuck around this 134.23. However, this afternoon, we've just got some interesting price action going on. You can see it's got very, very choppy. And now we've got a couple of really nice lines in the sun to keep an eye on. To the downside, 134.18. If we breach that, it could see us down to around about this 133.90 level. And to the upside, and possibly more significant, is this 134.45. Just take this out a little bit. You can see how important this is. Let's move it up to 134.50. Uh, because then we've got a really clear run up around about 50 pips up to test 135. So US yen very well positioned for a key technical move either way if it gets out of this short term range. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.